I absolutely do believe the U.S. Constitution is a viable document that we need to live by. I understand it well. There are a number of folks up here who make lots of statements that aren't necessarily supported. One that comes up frequently is that the government has no business being involved in health care. Now, I don't, want to, I don't want to defend the Affordable Care Act because I think it should be repealed and replaced with something that's far more workable. What we have is an unsustainable system where we're selling more debt to China, giving people tax credits so they can afford insurance that's too expensive. We're not doing anything to solve the underlying problem. But nonetheless, Article 1, Section 8, gives the federal government, namely the Congress, the authority to regulate interstate commerce. Those who say the government has no authority there are simply ignoring the Constitution. Okay, we need reasonable solutions, not anger and vitriol. We need a plan, and I've got the plan right here. I'm the only one who respects you enough to put my ideas in writing so that you can hold me accountable to them. Thank you. Allow me to address our little debate. The government has no business being in health care. <laughs> Article 1, Section 8, and the Commerce Clause is the most abused clause in the Constitution. It's been abused from everything from health care to domestic violence, where the federal government wants to invade into things that they have no right whatsoever to do. We need to get legal. Let's not kid ourselves. If we're looking for freebies and handouts from the federal government, we will lose our liberty. Who writes your paycheck is your master. The Constitution absolutely should be followed. And let's be clear, the Constitution is not a living document. It's not something that politicians and lawyers get to twist and bend to their whims. It is the law, absolute and fundamental, that we, the people, placed on government. And there is a legal means to change it. And if something needs to be changed, let's talk about that. But the Constitution is the law, and any representative who goes there to twist it is not qualified to be a representative. 